And with AI tools massively advancing, Blender creators are having the most out of it. In an interesting update of tools, Dream Textures version 0.09 is now available. This brings with it a lot of improvement and features, and based on the most recent version of Stable Diffusion, this brand new release of Dream Texture now offers texture projection. This is definitely going to change how Blender artists get to think and work with texture projecting in Blender, and not only will this help speed up workflow, this would provide one less thing to think about, which is applying textures on models. And for those who like to get this free tool, you can come over to Carson Cartridge's GitHub where you can totally get it for free by simply going all the way down and going to releases that will bring you right here where you can grab it. And for those who would like to appreciate the creator, you can go over to Blender Market where you can also get it for free or appreciate the development of the tool. And with that said, let's get right into it. So once you download Dream Textures, this comes as a .7z file. Now, if you don't have the .7zip, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can actually download it or you can use tools like Banzip, WinRAR, and so on to extract it. So you need to extract the zip file that exists within the 7z file into a new folder. And once you have that ready, you can simply go ahead, find Blender and open this as administrator. And with Blender simply open right here, how we get to work with this is super easy. All you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the zip file that we extracted earlier. And once you do that, this is going to freeze Blender for a while, but over time, this is going to open up. And once it pops open, you will need to click to turn on the check mark and then you need to click on the drop down and proceed to download and install the Stable Diffusion version 2.1. This is going to take a couple of minutes for it to complete the installation. And once that is done, you'd also notice that we have a tiny bar where you can search for models. Now click on that bar and give it some seconds and it will populate a couple of models that exist within the Hugging Face page. Now, once you get that going, type in the word depth. Now, once you type in the word depth, the Stable Diffusion version 2 depth file appears and you can click on the download button and download this. This is also going to take a couple of minutes to download and install. And once that is done, the next thing which you need to do in case you want to install even more stuff is to get your token. And you can get your token by going over to the Hugging Face page. And just in case you have no accounts with the Hugging Face page, you can create one since it's free. And if you do have one, you'll be able to get a token key from the access token section of your Hugging Face page and you can copy that, go over to Blender and paste it. You're now good to go. If you want to install from the long list of models, you can proceed to install any of them that you want. And if you like to use the Dream Studio, you can also choose to use Dream Studio if you do have an account with them. But since we want to work freely and you know, we want to work offline, we're using this method. And once we're done, we can click on the bugger menu, save the file and we're good to go. All right, so once you have this installed, how you get to work with it is super easy. So what we're going to do is tap in on the keyboard, go over to where we have the Dream Texture Projection, and from here we can start making stuff. Let's get a simple grid, scale this grid all the way up, and from here you notice that we have the model, and we have an information that says unsupported model. The reason is because we're using a model that doesn't support the depth feature that we want to work with, so we're just going to go all the way down and select that. So once you have that there, you can also notice the different kinds of texture generation or style generations that you have here, which you can go ahead and play with. So we have photographic concept at custom file batch, but since we want to project textures, we're going to stick to texture and what better texture to start with, if not the wooden texture. So I'm just going to start with the wooden floor. All right. So we would like to project a wooden floor on this. Let's just go ahead and correct that. And you can choose to set the seamless if you want, throw in a negative, you know, prompt if you want, you can increase the size and decrease the size if this is also what you're looking for. But one thing you need to know is whatever size that you're working with would impact your CPU if you set this to CPU, but your GPU if you don't set that. So if we go over to advanced, you can choose to set this to CPU so it uses your CPU. But in this case, I'm just going to let this work on the GPU alone. So once you have this ready, we're going to leave this 512 by 512. You would also notice that we cannot project. The reason why we can project at this point is your projection only happens when you're within your edit mode. So you need to switch over to edit mode and project. It's also worth mentioning that this uses a camera based projection, which means depending on how your camera is looking at the model, that is how the projection would happen. So I wouldn't suggest that you go around, you know, spinning the model when this is trying to project, just simply stick to one particular position and hit the project dream texture. And once you do that, this starts projecting. And once it's done projecting, you can switch over to your viewport shading and see what it looks like. So at this point, you can see what it's looking like. Of course, you can see that based off how we were looking at the model, that was how it projected it. Switch over to the Z axis because right now you now get the idea of how the projection works. Click on project texture 
and we're going to get something better. Now, if you choose to project this and it doesn't give you the desired result that you want, you can always go back and seek for better results. It's also worth mentioning that depending on how much detail you have on your mesh, this is also going to influence how the texturing will look like. Another thing that I think you guys need to know about is this. Let's say, for example, you create a model. In this case, we're looking at a table. If you choose to project from the top, these projects from the top all the way down. So once we're done making this table, we can select the top and we can project from the top. And you'd also notice that around the model has some of those textures. So it projects all the way from top to bottom and this is for the selection that you have. Yes, in most cases, this does a very good job. So if we choose to look at these in terms of rendering, you would notice that, you know, we, we did get a decent looking thing. Now, at any point in time, you like to make edits on this. Say, for example, you like to edit the UVs. Of course you can. And this is where your idea of knowing how to work with UVs will come in very handy. So you can choose to grab onto this model or, you know, grab onto the UV and uh, you can move this wherever you want. So maybe you like to have that tabletop looking like so. Of course, you can do that. But, you know, it did a very good job at placing all of these uh, lines at this point. And you can also choose to make some more edits with this. So you can also grab onto those sides and uh, we can move them down if we want to. We can also use some brush tools to work with them. And speaking about more things that you can do with UVs or how you can work hand in hand with UVs, let's explore working with meatballs and also attaching multiple objects together because I think that would actually make more sense. So in the brand new version of Blender 3.4, meatballs are now treated as meshes. So what we're going to do is just create a meatball and then we can make multiple copies. And this is just going to represent the tree. Now, once you have this, you can now proceed to convert the meatballs to meshes. And once you convert it to meshes, we can jump into the edit mode and we can throw in a cylinder, create a trunk for the tree, and we can switch to the dream texture projection. From the dream texture projection, we're just going to type in the word a tree and hit the project button. And of course, if you're not comfortable with the first one, you can proceed to do some more until you find something that works for you. And once you get that, we can now switch over and take a look at exploring the UVs. And once you switch over to the UVs, you notice that we have our UVs and we can use tools like the grab tool to actually fit the UVs into the texture. And I believe this is something that is super, super nice and neat to work with, especially if you're thinking about creating these things really, really quick and saving as much time as you can. And the same thing can be said for this mushroom. So we've just gone ahead to create a mushroom and we did generate some stylized looking mushroom textures for this one. So the one which we worked with or in terms of prompt style that we use, we use the concept art. You know, subject is mushroom. We went ahead to set this to environment and the fantasy one as well. So at this point, if you're thinking about working with this, you can tap S on the keyboard. Let's just scale this down. If you double tap here, or if you simply tap there, you can select the grab tool, which you can use to position this to your liking. So we can have something looking even way better than we had originally. And of course, the same thing can also be said for the base. So we can select that, hit Control L on the keyboard, grab onto this, and we can also make some adjustments like so. Now, one thing which I think you guys need to know is always try as much as possible to save your textures. Now, if you don't save your textures, if you open up your file, you would notice that it's just totally blank. It gives this metal feel, which just, you know, tells you that there's no texture there. And uh, that is just one thing that I think you guys need to be pretty, pretty careful about. So to save your textures is simple. Go all the way to file, go to save and just save it. And once you save it, save the both of them, then you can now save your main project. If you don't do this, you'll definitely run into the issue which I just mentioned earlier. And if you're looking for more ways to style this, of course you can. So let's go over to texture painting and select the appropriate texture, which has been assigned to the mushroom. So from here, we can select any color that we want and paint on the model. So you can choose to paint, you know, any color you want. You can use the eyedropper to select the color and paint on the model. And this doesn't just end by painting on the canvas. If you want to paint in 3D, of course, you can also paint in 3D. So instead of creating textures by hand by yourself, of course, this is actually very cool that you can do that. You can also edit those textures and fine tune them to your heart content, depending on what you're trying to create. So this is more like it. Dream Textures Projection from Car Carson is now available. And for anyone who would like to take a look at this, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. 
it is now easier than ever for you to project onto your 3D models and this would save you time and effort, especially if you're looking for ways to apply these textures really quickly on your 3D models and get things going. At the same time, if you're thinking about making seamless textures, Dream Textures also supports that and we've already covered a video about that, which I'm going to put links in the description and end note and a card for you to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.